Astros looking to avoid a sweep, but this game means much more than that. This team is trying to hang on to a lead in the division and put themselves in the best position for the playoff. Christian Javier, as you see going today, allowed a home run in his last nine. So his job today, keeping the Orioles' bats quiet. Javier ahead one and two, and he gets Gunnar Henderson. There is that breaking ball down and in under the hands for the first strikeout of the game. Adley was one for four on Monday night, has sacrificed fly, had an RBI double, so drove in two. Rutschman into right field. That one's pulled down the line toward the wall. It is off the base of the fence. And Adley Rutschman is into second base standing on an 0-2 changeup. A double for Rutschman. The Orioles started in the first inning yesterday. And Rutschman has the O's first hit. Santander settles in the left-handed batter's box. Rutschman still at second. Santander takes a pitch well off the outside corner, flicks it through the left side. Adley will run in the face of Chaz McCormick and slide in with the game's first run. Well, Anthony Santander yeah. <laughs> through the left side to make it 1 0. Kyle Braddock dominant against Houston last year. He really broke out in this ballpark. Eight shutout innings last year, then went eight and two thirds shutout at home. He had 16 strikeouts and two starts against the Astros last year. Really effective down in the zone. And this one starts with a fly ball from Jose Altuve into Austin Hayes glove and left on one two Pena chases a slider down and out of the zone that is prime Kyle Bradish right there Tucker down swinging strike three from Bradish at 96 and he punches out two. Kirsten leads oh. off against Christian Javier swing and a miss Javier just filling up the zone today He's a different looking pitcher with the number of strikes he has thrown. And he has four strikeouts, all four outs. This one hit high in the air to shallow left center. Chaz McCormick and Jake Myers converge. It'll be Chaz for the catch for the second out. Swing and a miss. Foul tip caught by Maldonado. Christian Javier, one, two, three, second. He has struck out five in the first two innings. Love Ramon Arias leading off in the top of the order. And a strikeout number six for Javier, making quick work of Arias. Six strikeouts, first time through the lineup. But Christian Javier is on a strikeout run. That is seven strikeouts. Seven of the eight outs on the K today. The 3 2 to Adley. And that is ball four. Into center field, Jake Myers backs up a few steps, has plenty of room, puts it away. And a walk doesn't hurt with two outs. I think Kyle Bradish is getting the, the way Javier is pitching. He better not give up any runs. Oh, yeah, except there. And then he just flag it down. With a, a bullpen that is about as tired as can be, I'm sure in the milliseconds <laughs> between that ball leaving the bat and hitting Kyle Bradish's glove, Brandon Hyde was seeing his, his Wednesday yeah, flash yeah. before his eyes. Astros have needed Javi to be at his best today because they have not done anything against Kyle Bradish offensively. Adam Frazier yeah. and Man. finally an infield <laughs> will touch the ball but it will not matter. Jeremy Pena has no play on a jam shot single from Frazier the Orioles first hit since the fifth Frazier going again and this time he can slow down. It's a slider in the dirt for ball four and the Orioles have two runners on for the first time today. Couldn't hold up. Henderson going after another high fastball. That's 11 strikeouts for Christian Javier matching his season high. A little pop up. Can Pena get there? Yes, he will. Christian Javier, well done, sir. 11 strikeouts, five innings of one run baseball. We're halfway home. Baltimore leads 1 0. Normally, Hector Neris wouldn't be in with the Astros behind in the sixth inning, but uh, these are not normal times with Texas bludgeoning Boston. And if the Astros lose, they'll fall out of first with either a Seattle or a Texas win. Anthony Santander, first pitch swinging, and Anthony Santander greets Neris with a base hit, maybe a two base hit, running on Tucker and in there safely. And the Oriole doubles leader. Snapping that three way tie for second in the American League. He's just got his 39th. And a ground ball from O'Hearn. That is Pena who couldn't make the play. O'Hearn's at first and Santander is at third without an out. Mullins hits it hard and a line drive caught by Altuve in the air. Altuve went down to his knee to make that play for the first out. That ball hit to right field Tucker coming on makes the catch tagging and bluffing 
No chance with Tucker throwing it from shallow right field. That's a big second out for Naris. There goes the runner. Pitch is grounded to third. Bregman backs up on the second hop, makes the play. Another Houdini escape for Hector Naris. First and third, nobody out. He's not allowed to run yet against Houston over 21 and two thirds innings. Three two pitches into right field. That'll be down for a hit. Jake Myers, a leadoff hit for the Astros here in the sixth inning. Bunt is down, played there by Ryan O'Hearn. He will throw to Frazier. Nice job by Maldi, his 12th sacrifice of the year. 0-2. Oh Altuve chases strike three. And there's the ninth strikeout for Kyle Bradish in a big, big moment. 22 and a third all time against the Astros. No runs. One strike away from a scoreless six. And there it is on 3-2, a foul tip strikeout on a slider. Go catcher's interference. Catcher's interference on Rushman. Pena is going to reach, and the inning is still alive. They are going to review this one. And you can definitely see the bat hit the glove before the ball. So this should be, at the worst, a stands, but probably a confirmed catcher's interference. The call in the field is confirmed. It was catcher's interference. Well, you think you're out of the inning, and maybe not. Pretty emotionally charged meeting there between Brandon Hyde and his starter Kyle Bradish and he will leave his frontline starter out there for the biggest out of the game. Tucker to third a check swing line out ends the inning Brandon Hyde with a little show of faith in his starting pitcher. He is rewarded. Yeah it's going to be Shintaro Fujinami. He's pitched two innings this season against the Astros and given up six earned runs and he's going to have a tough matchup right out of the chute. So Jordan will pinch hit for Jake Myers here. Ball four four pitch walk. Ball four four pitch walk two four pitch walks in this inning. That is enough for Shintaro Fujinami. So Bauman will be the new pitcher to face Jeremy Pena. A couple of four pitch walks from Shintaro Fujinami in the inning. Have two runners on with one out. Into right field, pretty well hit. Santander back at the wall, it's off the wall. Dubon's gonna score. Altuve being held up. It's tied up at one. Jeremy Pena, one of the bigger swings of the season. So now the base is filled with one out, and Alex Bregman will bat after the intentional walk to Tucker. He struck him out. How about that? Two out pitch. Ground ball, crazy hop to Blazer. He throws to first for the out. The bounce of the year. And the Astros leave him loaded. Last walk off the Astros had this season was back on July 24th. It was a base hit by Yiner Diaz. Diaz loops one down the right field line. Got a chance to be trouble. He's going for two. Yiner Diaz digging in there, sliding with a double. Yiner, a leadoff runner in the bottom of the ninth. Chaz, who has that great pop to right field can kind of think about that right half of the field here with a winning run on second base and nobody out Chaz grounds one to the right side that's a beautiful thing right there McCormick advances to runner the third Yider Diaz there with one away Astros fans all standing here at Minute Maid Park now Mauricio Dubon will hit with the infield in there's a base hit to right Astros walk it off two to one a game they had to win to maintain first place, and Doobie does it. Maybe that's just what the Astros need is a little intensity late in the game and a walk-off hit by Mauricio Dubon to light this fire and stoke them down this stretch.